We have a Roomba, a 690 model. Very neat robot. This was a nice gift and we're very surprised on how much this thing cleans. In the box, there's a Roomba charging home base, extra filter, a virtual wall tower, and a cleaning multi-tool. Setup is pretty easy. Plug the home base into an outlet where you want it. Place the Roomba on it to charge. And while it's charging, download the app and set up the Wi-Fi so it can be controlled or programmed via the app and receive updates as well. And you're done to start anyway. We programmed it to start at a certain time every day. It runs for up to 90 minutes before it automatically docks to recharge. This is all programmed in the app on your phone, tablet, or PC. The app has very clear instructions on setting it up. By the way, you can program it to take commands from Alexa as well. Hard to notice it, it has a pop-up handle for carrying around. If it gets stuck somewhere, it will shut itself down and send you a message on the phone if you have it programmed in the app. Now since we're home, we're just going to take it out and hit clean again. But uh, if we were away, all we had to do is go on the app and we get the message and just hit clean and see if you don't get another message that it got stuck or it's still stuck. Pretty cool. It transitions from a uh, hard floor to a carpet very easily, but it does sound like it's straining on carpet. It must wear the battery a lot faster as well, but luckily we don't have much carpet. We have used a virtual wall tower to keep it out of uh, areas not heavily trafficked, and it works well. When the battery is low, you will notice the battery light turns red and the green home light flashes. This is when it starts finding its way to the dock or home base charger. The first day, it did not find the docking device when the battery died, but it has docked itself every day since. I guess it needed to learn the floor layout. This is the sensor that guides it to the home base charger. You'll notice it. It has a similar one on the home base. This is the clean button if you want to start it manually. It also pauses the Roomba if pressed while it's on. This is the home button if you want it to go back to the home base charger. This is for spot cleaning. If you want it to concentrate in a certain area, it will circle around and go over the area or over and over. On the bottom, you will see cliff sensors so it won't go over uh, edges like stairs. Always keep them clean if you don't want your room but to take a dive. This is a 360 wheel that holds the front level. It just swivels around. These two tabs are the contacts on the dock. It has a protruding three-section brush that turns constantly and throws the dirt in front of it for faster pickup. These are the main drive wheels, one on each side. These are the main brushes and the two tabs release the frame that hold the brushes. The brushes pop out for easy cleaning and this multi-tool helps pull the hair and lint from the brushes. Looks like a letter opener. Dustbin is easy to take out and the blue you see in there is the uh, washable filter. It easily pops right back in. Check for anything wrapped up around this three-sided brush, especially here. Pull it out, and if it doesn't come out, there's a screw on top right there that you just take it out and put it right back. The next thing is the, uh, the swivel wheel here, the 360. It pops right out as well, and you can take any hair out of it that got wrapped up around it, and it pops right back in. Next, we're going to do the brushes real quick. The first brush is a bristle brush. And always take it out by the yellow side there and 
take your uh, multi-tool and just just like a letter opener just go right through the bristles I don't know if you can see it but it takes the hair out real well the next roller is just a rubber roller by the way the little caps on the sides my wife's trying to show that they pop off and hair gets wrapped around that too and you can take it right out they usually go right back in always put the yellow caps on the right side and you'll be fine I also noticed there's a sensor in there where it needs to be cleaned there I wonder if that sensor does something with the dirt or whatever or it just senses the spinning who knows I gotta check into that if anybody knows what that is make a comment we put the brushes back in make sure they're nice and flat close the door and next we put the uh, filter cartridge back in make sure the filter is back in there and slides right in it's ready to go the front wheel brushes and filter need regular cleaning they recommend to replace them annually or as needed that also includes the, the tree side brushes and filters speaking of the filter they are washable and it also comes with a spare the app tracks when you should be replacing and cleaning various components that will be interesting to see I guess it'll notify us on the app I gotta research that overall we're satisfied with the Roomba for the first month we have it it saves time keeps the floor clean and it works as they claim having a program to clean daily is perfect if you have pets and kids so I hope this helps someone out there and if you have any questions or suggestions feel free to comment and hope you all have a great day